Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening at whatever time you are watching this video. My name is Jonathan Heath, and uh, today, real quick, on my designer vlog, I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix Sonic clipping through certain walls. I think uh, the problem was caused when I removed some of those excess layers that you saw. So real quick, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be fixing. I'll show you how I'm going to fix this one. Then I'm going to go through the level and put them in different areas. So this is going to be a big troubleshoot. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. Then I'm going to cancel. Then I'm going to close the window and go from there. So watch this. Sonic goes through that. I figure out how to fix it, or have an idea how I'm going to fix it from, uh, let me find where I put my level, uh, wait, where is it? There we go. So let me, I figured out how I'm going to fix it by, uh, I fixed it in, uh, Green Hill when I recorded last time off camera. So, you notice that it's not flickering any more graphics anymore, that's because I had to remove some access layers, that was just the byproduct of me taking the things from where I took it. So, I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it. I'm effectively going to place an invisible wall on that particular object. So, I'm going to place, or at the very least, a box collider. So, I'm going to, not that, don't need to, let's see, did I get the right object? Let me check. Oh, come on. Nope, didn't get the right object on that last one. Let me just go around, make sure I get the right objects. Alrighty, so... There we go. I'm gonna place... I'm going to... duplicate both items and I'll move them backwards slightly then I'm going to add a box collider to both of them that should prevent Sonic from let me make it a little bit bigger that expands it that should prevent him from clipping. I'm going to turn the mesh renderer off so it's invisible to the naked eye. And this should prevent him from clipping through that particular section. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh. There yeah, good. That's something in my throat for a minute. Well, let's find out. Momentarily. Now there's two thin interesting things about a box collider. Alright, it sort of worked. Let me go ahead and move it forward just a little bit and it should fix the issue. I'm moving it just before the spring because I don't want to interfere with the spring either. So let's make sure that it works. And then I'll have to go through and eliminate. Now there's a way to tweak the rigid body where his collision is always active and updates itself regularly, but it's not working to fix the problem. So this is another way I figured out how to fix it. So let's see. Boom! Now he can't clip through that wall. Now he can't clip through the wall. Let me test the spring, make sure it doesn't interfere with it. Boom! It's good. Okay. So... Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of that upbound camera because I don't think it's going to help. I think it needs to be removed. Boom. So now, I've done it. Made it where he doesn't clip through that particular bulkhead. i got to go through and find wherever else he can clip through. Like, he can clip through there. I know he's going to go through those. So, I'm going to go ahead and troubleshoot all of that off camera and then when I get back I'll show you the results but what I just did with the uh, with the uh, excuse me 
with the box collider right there is pretty much what I'm going to have to do for a large portion of the level. So I'm going to go ahead and tweak his colliding in different spaces so he doesn't fall through the walls as often. And then when I get back, I'll show you the results. And we'll continue onward. So today is generally a general fixing and troubleshooting day for my Sonic fan game that I'm creating. I have codenamed it Project Hedgehog right now. If anybody has any other ideas for a good name for a Sonic game, I'd love to hear it. I'm not the greatest at making names. So perhaps there's another name I can name it in the future. So I'm going to go off camera now. When I return, you're going to see everything that I've fixed, and we go from there. Hey folks, welcome back. Just showing you something real quick in terms of the progress. I've been doing this for about 10-15 minutes now. I'm reinforcing this particular ramp with all these box colliders in order to make this work. In order to save time later, because I'm probably going to have to do the same thing to the next ramp, I'm going to be making a prefab of this so that all I have to do is cut and paste it in the other ramps. So, for right now, I'm just going to show you real quick what I'm doing. And then once again, I'm going to go off camera and I'll come back hopefully with a finished project or more progress. So, here we go real quick. Alright, so, I got a line of box colliders that I'm placing on this ramp. That way, if Sonic hits anything, he doesn't completely clip through. So, the way I did it is, these are all box colliders. So, you tap once to click to click, select one. If you want to select more than one, you go down to the final one you want to select, hold shift, then press the left the left mouse button, boom, you collect everything. Now, you can also collect do it by pressing control on your keypad and pressing the left mouse button and select them one at a time. Whichever way is more comfortable for you. So, I roughly measured from one line from one uh, lamp post to another, and that's how I'm doing it. So, and then I gotta position myself to make it easy for me to maneuver it. So, just a little up, then a little down. A little up, and a little down. A little up, and a little down. And bring it to the lamp post. And bring it to the lamp post. Boom, 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 boom. Keep going, keep going until the very last box is at the end of that lamp post. I gotta keep doing it this way. So it's at the very end of the lamppost. About right there is perfect. So. Now you can see. It's good. So. Boom. Boom. Wiggle. 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 Gotta do it slowly but surely. You can type in the numbers up here, but sometimes freehanding stuff like I'm doing right now is a great maneuvering factor. So, the way I did this is I created random cubes in Unity. I created the cubes in Unity. The mesh render, which makes it visible, watch, is off. So that's off, but the box collider is on. So it's going to collide with the boxes and keep Sonic from falling. So... Roughly this side's done. I'm probably going to make a new line of cubes for this section right here just so he doesn't clip, at least up to the trigger. And then I'm going to take all of the, bu all the ones that I've just created and copy them to the other areas. So, once again, I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do that. And when I come back, I'll show you and we'll play test it together to find out if my solution fixed the issue with uh, Sonic clipping through this particular piece of the bulkhead. Bulkhead. Navy terminology. I'm sorry, it's still stuck in my head. I'll have to tell you a quick funny story later about how my training in the Navy <laughs> still is kind of funny. Uh, something that happened at work oh, a couple months back, but uh, I'll tell you about it as well. Give you something funny to look at. So, once again, I'm going off camera. When I come back, I will show you the complete project of this particular ramp and you'll be able to uh, we'll be able to determine if it fixes makes a solution and if it doesn't so yes I'm kinda making invisible walls but not so much 
they're invisible walls enough that, yeah, you can jump over them. But I'm trying something that hopefully... I don't like invisible walls, but sometimes you gotta use them, so... When I get back, I'll show you what I did, and we'll play test it. And depending on how much time I have, I'll continue the rest of the level, or I'll do that in another video, or even off camera. So, I will return momentarily. See you guys within the next 20 minutes. For me, it'll be uh, instantaneous because I'm editing this all together later. So, see you in a minute. One. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I did a little bit of testing after completing the box colliders. And something new came up. Which happens sometimes when you come up with a solution with, uh, with code. So I'm going to try some, I'm, I'm going to show you what happens, and I already think I might have a solution for it. But, I'm going to show you what happens, and see if I can replicate it again. So, two things I'm going to test. One, I'm going to show you what I found out with the box lighter, and the second thing I'm going to figure out, or the second thing I'm going to show you, is what happens... When I come on, did 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 can't speak. All right, I'm going to show you this. So we all know that happens. So here's what happens. Boom, boom, boom. Working, working. Oh, now it doesn't. There we go. It launches them. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to boom, boom, boom. It it definitely prevents them from clipping through. So it definitely prevents them from clipping through. But now it throws them in the fracking air. So, I'm thinking I might add something else to this particular script. But let me check to make sure it'll trigger the springs no problem. Make sure the box colliders will not interfere with him looping. So far, it does not interfere with him looping. That's good. That's good. I'm going to test the second one. And then I'm going to go off camera one more time. I'm purposely jumping to the other side to show you if the other one works, so. Making sure I missed the trigger. Alright, there we go. Okay. I missed the trigger. I hit the trigger, but okay. I can live with him going backwards. Because usually it's just whichever way he's going, so. Well. I think there's a way I can fix that, too. Where... If he hits the spring backwards, it'll rotate him pur purposely. Whoopsie. I don't know how that happened. I got confused. I got all confused. This should be a... There we go. Let me go ahead and hit that again. Whoa, what the frack? Alright, that was me. Hitting that thing. Hitting that dash pad. Alright. So you see the new problem. Sonic will hit it, hit it, hit it, but there's a chance he'll go boom, 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 boom he'll fly off into midair. So I'm going to attempt to fix that with C-sharp coding. I've got an idea how I'm going to do it, but while I'm fooling with it and troubleshooting, I'm going to go off camera one more time, and I'm going to show you the finished product if it works. If it doesn't, I'll come back on and apologize and press forward. So. I'm going to work some more magic and get right back to you. So, I'll be back in momentarily. Once again, see you momentarily. Hey folks, welcome back. This should be the last time that, uh, last thing I want to show you. So, I did some troubleshooting. I figured out how I'm going to fix it. Sort of. There's still some issues that pop up. I'm going to have to do some more analysis later. So, we're going to play through it real quick. So I changed the box colliders. Instead of having multiple box colliders, it's only going to be one. And just one box collider. It goes straight down. So it's not a complete perfect fix, but it's a much better fix. It, it has at least the less chance of that happening. So This should make them visible while we, while we, uh, while we play test this area. It should make it visible, what I just did. If it doesn't, I'll show you guys later. Or I'll go back into the editor. Nope, it didn't show it, so... 
you still get launched into the air. I can't figure out how to fix that. I'm gonna have to do some more tweaking in the future. But now he doesn't clip through, has less chance of clipping through the bulkhead there. The, this will be the only place I see this issue popping up is on hills. It doesn't interfere with my loop strip, with the loop strip, in any way. But it still has the chance of that happening. But for the most part, it works fine. I must have... That's why. I have Gizmos turned off. Give me a minute. We're gonna go... Alright. There, I can show you it. Boom. Alright, this one needs to be a bit longer. I'll fix that later. But you see how it's only one humongous box that goes down? Instead of multiple skinny boxes, it makes sure there's no holes in there. So it still works. It, it does its job. It prevents them from flying, prevents them from clipping on the part that's protected. However, the problem I'm having right this very minute with this particular box is the fact that, well, Snikes. He still flings himself in the air every now and then, so I've got to figure out how to fix it. I gotta figure out how to fix that real fast. I just don't know how I'm gonna fix it exactly. Make that a little smaller. Thinking maybe I need another strip to make it so he gets pushed down, but I just don't know how I'm gonna fix it. I've doubled up his gravity effects so that, you know, gravity affects him even more, but nonetheless, he still gets flung in the air every now and then. So. I mean, as you notice when we're going down the hill, there, now you see the gizmo. But as you notice when he's going down the air, I'm going to test to make sure that doesn't, the fact that I made it really huge doesn't affect the, uh, him going down in, into that tunnel. It expands into the tunnel. So let's see. So, you see, depending on where you hit it, he'll get flung into the air at gym, at fast pace. It's like, really? Other than that, it works fine. It does the job of keeping him from clipping through the bulkhead. So, I'm, I've got to do some analysis. i got to figure out how to fix that. <laughs> That's going to annoy the crap out of me, like the floating thing that I created later in the level. If you look at previous episodes of me, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, let's see. Then I have to put one there. I might have to just put a box collider on almost every freaking thing. So it's going to be a much painful process to do. At least so he doesn't click. But the only one I'm going to have major issues with is when he's going down hills like that. So i got to figure out how to not make him just suddenly fall in the air. When I was playing the, uh, the fan release of Radical Highway, they had some other problem. A similar problem. Boom. Boom. See? It's basically when he hits the top, if he, if, if, depending on how he hits it, he'll do it. I mean, it just made almost a liar out of me right there. But you see, it keeps him from clipping through. That was the part of that. Now, I mean, this problem was happening even without the box collider, so there's got to be something I can do to prevent him from doing it. So, uh, until I am able to take the time to get better at Blender. For the most part, this level is pretty much programmed, so it's now fixing things. I gotta get it to a roughly a prototype level. The buildings look like an extra piece of uh, detail, nice little polishing that I did. That was fun, and it's definitely something I'm still gonna continue on, but I still gotta make the game playable 
and less broken. I'm willing to bet, right here, just gonna test it. He goes through it when he hits it. He doesn't do it now. He's gonna make a fracking liar out of me. Let me see. Okay, that is weird. He usually clips through it. He doesn't clip through that. That's interesting. Let's do that. So I'll probably, across all those guidelines, I'm going to put it down. I'm going to put one down. I'm going to put one big collider. Just because. So i got to figure out what to do there. There's still extra things that I want to do. Like, I want to replace all these extra springs. Like, I want to place this spring with the rocket like Radical Highway, but I gotta make the animations for the rocket and the acid for the rocket. I gotta make... I wanna replace this with the rocket. Maybe. I'm thinking at least I'm gonna add another skyscraper so that floating billboard right there is attached to a building. Just so it looks better. And I might add a few shortcuts in here extra just so I don't have to play this entire game when I'm trying to fix it and then I can delete them if I'm ready. Like I might make a spring or something that sends me all the way to the butt end of the level. That way I don't have to play through all of this when I'm ready to play or when I'm ready to do stuff. You fix the buildings over there so the, so the roofs don't look like they're floating. Something else I changed so this looks a bit better. It still needs work, but I added another billboard here. Now you can see, I like it. When he goes through, it looks like the buildings are there. It doesn't look like they're just randomly floating. That's why I added that particular piece of rock right there. So now it looks good. Well, the original thing was like a cylinder that he floated around in, but I was having problems with the assets for that. So I like how that one's there. That's perfect. I mean, I'm, I'm just running through real quick. So there we go. So. Now the reason I did that was ch because I couldn't, I didn't, I was having, when I removed assets, it was uneven pavement and it made it easy for Sonic Fall into nothingness. So I just decided I'll replace it with springs. That's not an easy thing. I added this building, like I said, so the springs weren't floating in midair. They were attached to a building. I'm going to do something similar to the billboard level. I'm going to be adding way more. Probably no buildings right here. Maybe some at the very bottom. That way it covers up the fact that the bridge is floating in nothing. It's just floating in the air. But I'm not going to add any large quantity of buildings. I'm not going to add 300 buildings in this level. Or this part, I'm not going to add a bunch of buildings. Probably the next part that I'm going to be adding buildings in is going to be right after my floating strip. So, in the official release, there's a way to go up. I'm going to make a way to go up later. Alrighty, so, I'm, I'm going to be changing this. I'm going to be getting rid of this spring right here. Only so that I, I even force people to have to use the, uh, the floating, maybe navigate towards a spring or not. I'm going to be adding some springs or some other terrain that allow them to jump. I'm going to be adding some boxes and other things to climb over here so that I can literally go up to this point of the level. So, and this is about it for this one, guys. I've already done some minor programming over there, but i got to tweak one of the loops. It's not done right. And I'm going to do something real quick to try and figure this out. Maybe I need to add something to the downward slope in order to prevent this from happening. So... Like he can clip, 
but he'll still get launched. So being launched in the air it seems to be another is a different glitch altogether. And I'm going and I need to I'm pro there's there's at least one of the waypoints right here that's messed up, which is why he gets stuck right here. I'm probably going to delete this whole thing right here on the loop, this whole loop path waypoint, and I'm going to redo it again. It might be easier than trying to figure out where I messed up. And there's Floating Sonic, and I added another downhill slip glitch to here. Now he didn't do it, but still he gets launched. He clicked. See? His collision protection's all over the place. Even if I tweak the rigid body, it doesn't fix it. And I missed my trigger to change the camera, so that's it. So I'm not gonna keep you guys online any longer. Um because everything else that I need to do is a, a bit tedious and it's best that I'll do another update video with what's coming up. So I'm going to leave here with this. So my to-do list mainly means I'm going to figure out how to fix Sonic from jump from flying in the air when the right amount of force hits him, I guess is the way to put it. I'm going to tweak the physics in some way. Maybe I need to add more gravity to his rigid body for that particular thing, which I might add a piece of code to make gravity equal 200 or even 300 when he's on a hill that way he doesn't fly in the air but I need to figure that out um, so I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try a few things I'm gonna troubleshoot the box collider system that I created works better I like the solid box colliders that are right there that are right here instead that works a whole lot better and then the multiple box colliders, less holes. So it's a straight line, straight down here. So it works for my initial thing, but there's still other issues that are popping up. So I need to address them and figure it out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to work on Green Hill anymore right this very minute, because it also is a work in progress. I mean, this whole game is a work in progress. I did Green Hill earlier just as a get rid of the monotony. But the good thing about it is because I worked on Green Hill Zone and I had a similar issue of him clipping through one of the bridges after I moved the access layers, I was able to figure out what I needed to do to fix this issue. So I might just add a very small box collider to all the edges. That way, when he hits it, it has something to attract the force. I'm probably at that wall I tried to clip through. I'm probably going to add a box collider right there just so, give him a little bit more something to hit. That way it decreases the chance of him clipping through because it looks like the more speed he gets the more chance he has to clip through and that's just uh, Sonic. Now what I have tried to do in the past and let me check his rigid body real fast before I let you guys go. I'll show you it as soon as I find him in my... oh boy, I've got everything. Oh, there we are. So, let me go to Sonic, and I'm going to go to his rigid body. So, collision detection is already continuous, which is better settings for, but I'm thinking this is more of an after effect of probably where I got my assets, which will be in the link below, the site that's already been downloaded. I don't remember having this problem when I used much younger assets from other engines like Havoc, which is what Generations was created in. But these were on Sonic Adventure 2 and I have no idea what they used to make it. They probably had their own personal engine that they used back in the early 2000s, early 90s to make Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. So I think this is just a byproduct of, the, of it transferring old assets into a newer engine. So it saved me time, but there's some work I still have to do. So I'm going to let you guys go here. I want to appreciate you. I appreciate you for your time, attention, and consideration for this. Please continue to follow me. This game is evolving. My skills as a game designer are continuing to evolving as I continue my process through school and learn as I go. As stated before, I'm a full sales student at ga at the ga uh, for game design in my bachelor's degree. I'm a proud United States Navy veteran. 
And thanks to a full cell, I'm learning a great skill that I've never had any experience with. What I'm showing you here, I have never touched, never even tried to create video games before I became a student at Full Sail. I had the interest, but I never had the motivation to learn, to self-teach. Now I'm self-teaching myself as well as learning in school thanks to Full Sail. So, with no further delay, this video is going to be close to 30 minutes by the time I, with, when I edit everything together. So once again, thank you for your time and attention. I apologize for these long videos the last couple times. I, I will continue to continue to tweak it to about 16 minutes is what I want it at, but it's still leading up to about 30, 20 minutes. So as time goes on, I'll figure out my editing skills and my ability to not talk as much, and I'll get it tweaked in there. So once again, thank you for watching. Please, if you like what I just did, slap that like button. It helps me out. If you want to continue to follow my advancement in this career and want to help me in this process, suggestions, everything, leave a comment and slap that subscribe button and put, push that little bell right there so you get notified when I start streaming or notifying, which reminds me as soon as... Uh, I don't have internet at this time, but when I finally get internet again, I've got an, I want to stream a live session of me working on this game with people watching as I go through the whole process. I don't know if that's going to be boring or what, but if you guys are interested in seeing all of that, please like, comment, subscribe. I got Facebook. I got Twitter. Please follow me on Twitter. My hashtag and everything will be in the descriptions below. So with no further delay... Please have a great day, have a great evening, enjoy your weekend and fair winds and following seas.